What's going on? You're hanging out with Death Count, and I'm here to talk about my Justice League predictions about the movie, which is out tomorrow night. I got my tickets. I'll be seeing it around 10 p.m., and I'm semi-excited for it. Um, uh, it, it. It just seems like I haven't been very excited for any uh, superhero film for a few years. Um, not because I think Justice League is going to suck, not because I'm... Not because I'm, it's like I'm not a DC fan. No, I'm, I'm a huge like DC fan. It's just that I feel like um, there are so many superhero movies out so often. I, it, I just lose the um, excitement. I don't know why. It's like when I was a kid, man, um, you know, the first big superhero movie I saw was Batman 1989. And then I, from, from that, I saw maybe like The Rocketeer 1991. Then Batman Returns, 1992, and, um, you know, like back then, man, like you really had to wait for a long time to see another um, superhero movie, you know? So, so when they, so back then, when, uh, when the superhero films were starting to come out, people would get really hyped, and um, it, it just seems like now, man, there's like a new one, like every two months, so it, 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 it you know, I think I'm a little spoiled, maybe, maybe we all are, because uh, back in the day, man, it was rare. Uh, to get like superhero movies um, in the same year up until like the late '90s, <clears throat> early 2000s is when uh, it, it, it is uh, when the superhero movies got really popular, right? <clears throat> but overall, what what do I think about Justice League? Um, I've read a few reviews. People are saying the same shit about like Batman v Superman that the story is sort of a mess, or maybe people are saying that it, it it's not bad but it's not great. You know, I feel like people are scared to say that they enjoy things because they don't want to be criticized or something. But I think the movie is going to be better than Batman v Superman. Not that I didn't like Batman v Superman. Um, it, it, it just feels like that the story that we're going to see in Justice League is probably going to be more focused compared to Batman v Superman, which is kind of like all over the place. Um, not that I didn't like Batman v Superman. Uh, it, it's, it's just I didn't think it was very memorable. Um, I enjoyed uh, Man of Steel more. I thought the action scenes were better in Man of Steel. Uh, what really sticks out for me with Batman v Superman has got to be the Batman uh, uh, warehouse scene when he was saving Martha. That scene was incredible, but but uh, but I definitely liked uh, Man of Steel action a bit more. Uh, so for Justice League, I think um, I think the castings are really good. Um, I don't really have any more complaints. Be honest, I don't give a shit. <laughs> right? Like, I don't care because um, I just feel like you don't want to put too much love into these actors, into their portrayals, because it seems like if they're not getting the right money, if, if, if there's some kind of like allegation on someone these days, man, then they will be dropped out of the film and replaced. So it, it, it's just a different time, man. It's a weird time. It's a different time. But I think Justice League is going to be uh, good. I don't think it's going to be perfect uh, what movie is, but I think um, I'm going to enjoy it. You know, I'm, I'm going to try to go into this film with zero ex, um, expectations, right? Zero ex expectations and uh, just try to have a good time because I do have uh, sometimes I overanalyze things, especially because, you know, I grew up on comic books, man. Like since the late 80s, I've been collecting well really like the early 90s I started hardcore collecting but you know I feel like I put so, so much heart into these characters and I should have uh, some kind of right to talk about it and analyze it and all that but so um like I said I like Man of Steel Batman v Superman had great moments um so th this movie is definitely going to be good it's definitely going to be um I don't say I'm more fun but but uh, I think it's going to be more entertaining. There's going to be no slow parts. Um, I know the movie is only two hours. So that is interesting. Um, I'm going to tell you the things that I'm looking forward to most. It is uh, n number one. I love how they kept Superman as a fucking uh, total mystery. We don't know how Superman is coming back. We don't know if he's going to have a black suit. I know there have been some hints of him wearing a black suit. But he probably will. But... I like how they haven't gave us Superman yet. So I'm really hyped to see what happens with Superman. I feel like that was another problem with with uh, Batman v Superman. 
they gave us too much in the trailers. A lot of movies do that, man. They give you too, too much in the trailers. You know, like, they never should have gave us Doomsday. Doomsday should have been a total shock. But I think they learned this time with Justice League. Because <clears throat> we hardly get any hints with Superman. We know he's in it. But we don't know how he's coming back. My prediction, he's going to show up, show himself, just at the right moment to beat the crap out of Steppenwolf and save the day. That's when Superman is coming. And when he does come, watch. He's going to be coming, like, from the sky like he's fucking Jesus. You know what I mean? Like, that's how they're going to do it, I think. Uh, what else am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to Danny Elfman. I'm really looking forward to, uh, uh, to, to really like, hear his theme. <clears throat> You know, I'm a huge Batman 1989 fan, as you can see, huge Batman 89 fan, and I heard that Elfman is putting the, uh, the Michael Keaton Batman theme into the movie. I don't think Ben Affleck is worthy, but whatever, man. You know, it'll be cool to hear it, but if, if it's not fucking Keaton, it's not Batman. Sorry. <laughs> right? Um... But I'm looking forward to see Elfman's work, Elfman's work on Batman, um, uh, various projects with Tim Burton, Edward Scissorhands, really good one. Uh, he worked with Spider-Man, Toby's. So I'm really looking forward to hearing Danny Elfman. Um, will there be a Green Lantern? Maybe, maybe they'll just hint it, man. I'm hoping we'll get a Hal Jordan. And uh, maybe they'll mention uh, Shazam. I still call him Captain Marvel. But... <clears throat> Overall, I think it's going to be a fun movie. Uh, tomorrow when I review it, or maybe the day after that, because I'm seeing the movie very late, I'm going to try to have my fiancé with me in the video, because um, it'll be fun. <laughs> right, so, overall, I'm looking forward to it. If someone told me uh, that I would have to wait for like a week, I could wait, but I won't, because I know people are going to fucking spoil it, so... I got to see it tomorrow night. So um, we'll talk about it after I see the movie. And I have some more things coming up. Like I always mention, I'm going to finish up my Rhode Island Comic Con experience videos. And then I'll continue with some of my other stuff. I'm going to show you something up there. So it's going to be cool. So that's about it, man. I'm looking forward to see Superman. <clears throat> my dream is they'll give us a cyborg Superman with Hank Henshaw. But I could dream. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll talk real soon. Later.